Hey Funko Mars, it is me, the Funko Mars, and today I'm going to be doing a single review on the Funko Pop Star Wars Bosk. I am very excited to do this uh, single review because I've always wanted this pop, and uh, he, he's kind of a grill. I forget how much he's worth when I bought him, or actually when I got him for, I think, Christmas? Either Christmas or my birthday, one or the other. And, uh... Yeah, like, he, he's always, he was always one of my, you know, top Star Wars grails. And, uh, you know, I'm just very happy to own him. And, uh, so let's just take a look at the box. <laughs> the box. Uh, anyways, you can see, there he is on the side there. There he is on the back, or the other side there. Uh, and there's all the other pops in this wave. I don't, you know, I don't know what to call this wave. Um... I was thinking about just doing a set review because I do own all of these pops, but I don't know, man. It's like, I don't know what to call it. Maybe Funko Pop Star Wars number 34 to number 39 set review? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's whatever. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to review uh, a new Star Wars set that just came out not too long ago. Most of the wave, not all of it. And we're going to see how that does. I'm going to try to figure out what to call it and whatnot. And I'm going to review each of these one by one. And see which one does better. Because these are old pops and no one's looking for reviews, you know. So, I don't know. But anyways, there's Bosk on the side there. Like the name. All right. And then if you want to see, you know, the exact day it came out, if you can, if you can interpret that. There you go. From I think it's... December 10th, 2015. That's how I'm reading it. But I could be wrong. But I, I think I'm right. Anyways, let's take a look at Bosk. Yes, one of the uh, obscure bounty hunters in, you know, the Star Wars lore. And I, I think he looks, you know, probably the coolest. And I mean, you know, Boba Fett looks cool too. I think... He and Bosk are, you know, right there. But all the other ones are droids. And they, they, one of them is a human. And they just look... They just look, you know, like, you know bland. Uh, I think Bosk, you know, he looks awesome. He's got all these scales and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, obviously Bo Bo Boba, Boba Fett is awesome, too. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, anyways, so let's take a look at the... Oh, God, his beast fell off. So, let's take a look at... I don't think this is going to stay in, is it? Yeah, okay, it's going to stay in. No, it's not. Alright, so there is the head. Very dinosaur looking. I love how you can see all the scales on there. This pop is definitely ahead of its time. I believe it came out in 2015, and, like, I mean, still, it is ahead of its time. Four years later, the pops are just a little bit more detailed than this is. But, yeah, I love all the scales on there. One thing that could have made this head a bit better is if they, like, use maybe dry brushing in it. Or, like, use a wash to make the skin look more dry and whatnot. But it still looks really good. Like, how you can see all the teeth in there. You can see the pink in there. You can see the nostrils. Very dinosaur looking. You get some, some, I don't know what those are, buttons, whatever, right there. But you can see... The deco looks pretty good. The scaly arms. I don't like this gun. I think it's too long for the uh, Black Series figure. I can't get him to hold it. Anyways, you can see more art, more of the deco there. It's on my fingers. Soap. I think it's soap. Or is it the figure? Hmm. Huh. Anyways. But you can see the suit. He's wearing a vest. Some wrinkles in underneath the suit. He has this uh, kind of like a a pilot, a fighter pilot, you know, set up there with the harness and stuff. You can see the thing around his legs, and then you can see his feet. Look at those feet. One of them is painted, and the other one's not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm actually starting to hope this isn't a knockoff. But if it is, I mean, it is a pretty damn good knockoff because, I mean, this looks identical to the actual pop. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think it is, but there's a 
slight possibility it could be. So I'm going to look up Bosk. Funko Pop. Uh, going for 50 bucks on Amazon. Okay. And then there, there he is. Yeah, I would say that's the same pop, right? Yeah, that's definitely the same pop. 20 bucks, yeah, that's not bad. But yeah, man, I really love the scales on this guy. That's what, you know, makes this figure. You can see the back there of the vest. You can see the vest more clearly. Wearing a collar around his neck. Very cool looking pop. I'm very happy to own this. This is definitely one of my grails. And, you know, I did a, a bounty hunter themed set review and I didn't own him at the time so I said you know hopefully I'll get him one day and I'll do a singles review and here it is so uh if I have time I will link that video to you know in the corner up there so you know you can go check that out and uh yeah I mean like I said I know I keep saying it but I'm, I am very happy to own this pop it is probably uh, I don't want to say it's my top 10 Star Wars Pops, but I think if I really boiled it down to make a list, I think this guy would be very close to that top 10 list, because there's some amazing looking Pops from the Star Wars line, and this is definitely one of them, hands down. So, anyways, uh, like I said, I mean, he's not that expensive. Uh, I'm going to go on Pop Price Guy. That's the only place I really trust, because it averages everything. So, let's see. Bosk. Yeah, they auto-corrected to Boss. They're showing all the Boss babies. Okay, let's see. Let's do this again. Bosk. He's going for $37 on the Pop Price Guy. So, you know, that's, that's actually... That's not, I mean, it's a decent price. It is a pretty penny, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and make sure you do subscribe to see a lot more content. The next few reviews are going to be Star Wars and Marvel related, just because I haven't done, you know, too many of those, and I feel like I've been doing too... I don't know, I, I kind of want to make my channel diverse in the reviews, because I do have a diverse collection, but I, I really want to get some Star Wars and Marvel pops, you know, reviewed, because, you know, I've been saying I wanted to for a long time, so, anyways, uh, anyways, uh, like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, I am doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers, so make sure you do subscribe to see the giveaway announcement, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace, thanks for watching.